This is Mike Myers. It should be the Halloween mask. This is a Halloween mask. Kill a dude from Halloween. Oh, you mean Jason. <laughs> get started, gotta give a huge shout out to Ty Rector. You answered last week's question and everybody knows that stuffed crust pizza is the best. It's that spooky time of year and we're gonna review some figures that you guys have asked for. So let's take a look at the first minifigure. With the new Halloween movie out with Mike Myers, I figured let's review some minifigures with Mike Myers. Now, it was a little bit difficult to try and find some stuff online, but this is what I found. This is from Build-A-Brick. Now, I'm not gonna say this is not an advertisement for Build-A-Brick, because I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I liked and some of the things that I don't like with this minifigure. First off, the presentation on the actual box is done very well. I really like this. It gives it that 1980s action figure feel. I love the backer card. You can see how it says Halloween on there, Mike Myers. It's done very well. Just the overall presentation in the front is done great. I love this plastic box that it comes in. It looks really nice and it really ties the minifigure together into like a, a miniature version of an action figure. Looking at the back, you can see some more. Halloween, the night he came home. Really cool, this is from the original movie. Not so much, I don't like that made in China part down there, but I guess that's where the box is from. Now, when I looked online, I like the fact of the overall presentation, right? But the part that I don't like, it's not very clear that these are not official LEGO minifigures. So, and these are not really necessarily meant to be played with. Let's open it on up, and let's take a look at the actual figure. Printing for this character is pretty simple, and honestly, Michael Myers is a simple character in general. I mean, he has a very plain mask, his hair is slicked back in this minifigure. In general, it's kind of all over the place, a little bit crazy. Now, the printing for the torso, it's alright. I mean, the jumpsuit is plain in the actual uh, movie, but looking at this, I just feel like the beiges should have been printed over quite a little bit, well, at least one or two more times. And then the mask transitions down to the torso, but it's a hard break. You can see that blue line up top there, so it's not as vibrant as I would like. And then the torso is simple. I mean, the jumpsuit, there's no transition from the torso down to the legs, which is okay, I mean, but in general, uh, there's not much to them. Looking in the back, there's no printing on back, and none of these parts are actual LEGO minifigure parts. And uh, I, I see that this is actually custom painted on there, like probably using acrylic paint for the knife. One thing that I did find interesting is if you look at the actual LEGO display, these are official LEGO right here. I just find it interesting that none of the actual LEGO minifigures official, but the base right here is. Here is another character you guys asked for. This is Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. And again, this one is from Build-A-Brick. There's no doubt about it. Freddy Krueger is horrifying and he will haunt your nightmares. I just like the presentation for it. I like the fact that it looks like a 1980s Kenner toy figure. It makes, it just kind of gives it a little bit more complete look. Now, um, great graphics on here. Looking at the back, a little bit provocative, but this is actually a movie poster for the original one, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and it gives us some more detail on the bottom there. But yeah, I think it's just an actual movie poster that shrunk down to put on the backer card. Opening this figure up, let's take a look at him himself. Same thing again as the Mike Myers. This is, none of this is official Lego, at least I think. I'm gonna double check here, yeah. Nothing on there, well, maybe, what does it say? No, it says 13. Uh, nothing on the top. Let me make sure the back, yeah, none of this is actual official Lego. But it looks okay, and it's supposed to be a display, so you don't really play with it. You're not gonna really notice any issues with the clutch power because you're not gonna be playing with them. Dirty uh, front torso here, it looks okay, but you can see a little bit of a gap in between the torso and the legs. Even if I push that down, the gap's still there. That's just indicative of the actual knockoff minifigures. Printing on the side arms, printing on this side arms. He's got that classic sweater look. Um, actually, the, what's interesting is the back's a little bit more detailed than the front. Maybe, wait a minute. Was that put on backwards? Weird. Oh, okay, so here's I uh, I didn't realize this is two printed head. Very interesting, I didn't know that. So, I have another minifigure head that is from a Deadpool variant that I think would fit this a little bit better, but this one looks okay. But let me switch out this head with the Deadpool variant and see if that looks any better. I don't know, I think that one looks a little bit more detailed. Let me know in the comments which one you guys like better. Do you like 
this one or do you like this one right here? Which one do you think fits Freddy, uh, Fred, Freddy, Freddy Krueger better? Here are the two displays side by side. Let me know in the comments too, who would win in a fight? Would it be Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers? Who do you think is stronger? So interestingly enough, the last video I did was a Brick Loot video. Now I thought that that was the October release, but I was wrong. I had some backlog of some stuff that I needed to get done and the, the October Brick Loot subscription box came in. And this one's Halloween themed, so I apologize for that. But here's the box and let's open it up and, up and see what we got. It seems like a bigger stuff and just higher quality uh, compared to last month. So the overall theme is weird science. Weird science is pretty closely related to Halloween, at least in my opinion. You got like Frankenstein and stuff like that. So uh, what's inside? We have the science lab. Then we have circuit cubes, which I've never played with. I'll be interested to see what that's about. A fun pack with a bunch of different lab accessories. And then Billy the science guy. So let's take a look first at uh, the custom minifigure right here. Open them on up. A small disclaimer, I was never a fan of Bill Nye the Science Guy. I was always a Beekman's World guy. I just thought it was more interesting. Plus, you got the, like, the giant rat. Now, this is custom pad printed, and I think it's done very well. First look, the torso transitions very nicely from the top down to the bottom legs. Done very well. You can see right here, he's got a beaker full of weird fluids. Uh, back printed. Got some small like ripples and stuff like that in the back, nothing big, but actually the overcoat go, uh, does go down on the back as well. You see a little bit of overprint right there, which, which looks really nice. Oh, and he actually got some side print too. So let's look at the top. Yeah, one, only one face print and he's got the glasses. So nothing too special about that, but it's a nice custom minifigure. All right, here's the science lab. This one was again made by Tyler Slights or Kleitz or something like that. So let's go ahead and open it on up. Review and build it, or build it and review it. Here's the finished build. Looking right here, there's a microscope, there's a lamp right here. This is some type of test tube holder. And the most important thing is the coffee. You can't get science done without coffee. We could put Bill Nye-ish guy. You know what, let's get rid of Bill Nye. Let's uh, put the toy gander right there. What an improvement. Okay, circuit cubes. Now, I don't know what's in here. I haven't opened it up and I don't know anything about it. So this is gonna be a little bit of discovery as we go along. Here's all this stuff. There's a, ch oh, that's cool. It's all USB charged. So I would imagine that this is, uh, yeah, so there's a lithium ion in there, I would imagine. Here's some stuff right here. And what is this? Oh, I see. Maybe it goes into here? We'll figure that out. I don't know what this is, but hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward this to see if I can like put it together and make something out of it. This is pretty cool. Let me show you what I found. So this is a projector right here. There's a couple clear pieces that it comes with. They also give you stickers, but you could put whatever you want on this clear piece. There's two of them. And what it does, it will essentially project it out onto the wall. Now, this is like the power supply. This is the light source. These aren't official Lego, but they're all interchangeable and they will connect with Lego. Now, you turn that on and you can see it's really bright. So, for example, like this, we put this in here like so. And you got to make sure that the, the connection still stays. And let me see if I can move it on up, turn off the light and see what projects. I'm Starman. So this is a light mixer, and what you do, you connect the power source and the light like you normally would, but you have these different translucent pieces, and you can mix them into there, 
and basically it'll show you what the two colors will will make when you mix the two so I thought that's kind of interesting there's also a lighthouse that you can do I didn't build this one yet but you could put this together and it's essentially like a lighthouse and you can connect that onto any like Lego piece Lego set that you have finally is the brick loot fun pack this is just a menagerie of science things although this pink mug kind of reminds me of Homer Simpson's cup or maybe it was uh, who was that Kerbopal, yeah I think she came with this mug. Uh, you got a telescope right here, a chalice, and a bunch of flasks with weird liquids in them. All right, guys, that's what I have for today. If you like any of this stuff, you could check out uh, toygander.com. I think I have a link in there for the brick loot stuff, or you could just go to the description. I'll put a link in there as well. So that's what I have. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button and subscribe. And until next time, you can help us take a gander.